for a first clarinet, Isabella's a lucky girl. She's getting a nice, good quality clarinet. We've got stuck keys. There's pads missing. They're all going to get replaced. We've got to treat the metal work, clean it up. We've also got to treat the woodwork, otherwise it will crack. And also, we've got the cork tenon joints there. We need to just replace them. That key there, it's starting to come off quite nicely. Got a few rusted in ones to deal with. Once they're off, then we can get on with really working on it. As instrument restorer Pete has his hands full with the dilapidated clarinet, he's asked leather expert Susie Fletcher to help him with the equally distressed case. I've got Victoria's clarinet case here, and Victoria would like there to be a handle on this, so I've got to remove these rusty bits and replace with new fixings. I've now measured up the width of the cork for the tenon joint so it can be airtight. Now all I've got to do is apply the glue. Cork is a, a traditional natural material that's been used for generations by instrument makers. We use it on all woodwind for the keys to stop them going clunk. It's great material and you can mould it and shape it and it's easy to work. The glue's now gone off. We can just put it on there, wrap it round nice and tight. So I've got those rivets out at last, and I can now move on to making a handle. There we go. So that's our base cut. So that'll go on like that. I've got another piece that will go on the back, and then all of that can be covered. Now I've put the tenon corks on, so now I'm going to have a look down the bore of it. Surprisingly, it's in very good nick, but it just needs bore oiling every so often to stop it cracking. If it's not nice and smooth inside, the sound isn't quite as good. That's in there, that'll get into the wood, and it'll protect it. Put it aside, get on with another job like polishing the keys. That's all glued nicely together, and the shape is looking really very nice. What I need to do now is cover this shape with a piece of light pigskin. And just lay that on like so. So that's that done. I can now start to hand sew it together. Right, I've cleaned all the clarinet up now. We can start assembling it. These are little, what they call, skin pads. These are the bits that stop the air getting out of the little holes. I'll heat up the key. Then we can put a bit of shellac in there once the key is hot enough. As we heat it up, it becomes fluid. Then as it cools down, obviously, it becomes solid again, so it's the glue. We've got to make sure these pads are nice and airtight. Once it's cooled down, it'll be solid on there. Now all I've got is about 17 more to go. 